And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the top left-hand corner of Ohana. We have our blue Zerg player from Team Liquid, one and only TLO. His opponent in the lower right-hand corner, our red Zerg player from Acer, it's Nurchio. All right, so uh, well, let's let's just go back here because these guys have met very recently, mm -hmm. uh, and it was a 2-0 in Nurchio's favor. Now, I actually, uh, the the I'm. I'm I'm pretty psyched here because, all right, this is an online event. It's not in person. And uh, one of the things Nurchio actually said in the post-game interview, he was like, look, if this had been an online event, Tilo said he was nervous. And if this had been an online event, I think it would have been a lot closer. And, you know, he was making very honest statements without a doubt. Um, you know, also commending cool. Tilo on a great game played. So uh, I'm, I'm really pumped for this because Tilo definitely, I mean, he gave a real run for his money in game two. It was insanely close. It really just came down to Tilo was absurdly ahead came down and let some roaches do what they shouldn't have been doing, and oh, that can just cost you in ZVZ, man. You lose your army too quickly, and that'll be it. So now we've got a, a reset button here. Zero, zero. Going to be pretty awesome getting things started here on Ohana. Yeah, we mentioned before that there's about, oh, 10 players in the world that have this ability to the fly under the radar, fly under the radar, fly under the run radar. Uh, Bam! Yeah. All of a sudden, they take down top players. TLO's one of those guys, and he's a very solid all-around player, but we're talking about one of those guys now in Nurchio that is one of the best players in the world, that is legitimately yep. in, in talks as best foreigner Zerg, things like that. So yeah. Nurchio is great, always has been. He just posted a win at DreamHack Bucharest, so this guy has results online and offline and uh, will certainly ah, yeah. be That's actually where they met yeah yep. and will certainly uh, give TLO a run for his money here all right well uh, talking yeah actually I, you were saying how people fly under the radar and I completely thought you were going to say Nurgio <laughs> like TLO I don't know TLO was always like really big on the scene for me he was actually the first um, first YouTube video I ever watched like I, I actually saw a yeah. lot of Goman stuff before well, he's, that. he's always been popular don't get me wrong he's always a very popular player but in terms no, of I results did saying, yeah. yeah in terms of results he's uh, you know he's had success he's had periods where he hasn't had the most success so um, it's we'll see if he's in one of his uh, better say, modes though, now he did Nurtio, win the first I mean, round uh, yeah he definitely did uh, uh, Nurtio, I mean, in some ways can be that way as well. You know, he come, he mm -hmm. came in and was winning all these online tournaments and then kind of just all of a sudden went, makes his big break onto the scene uh, with, you know, IEM, uh, Clone and coming in second, losing to MVP, of course, one to three. And then, of course, winning at Bucharest. I mean, fantastic showings out of this guy lately. All right, so difference in builds to begin things. TLO did decide to go for a hatch first, but, of course, he has Lings popping up right now to make sure that he's going to be able to defend. Not too much damage going to be taken here. Nurchio will, at the very least, get a somewhat decent scout. I mean, he sees that this hatchery is up a little bit quicker. But it looks like TLO is actually going to be just fine. Nurchio actually getting the better engagement right here. He had all four of his Zerglings attacking to his Good opponents, drone. just two. So Strone's actually in a little bit of trouble, and TLO's forced to turn it into an extractor. Does get it down. But the Zerglings aren't in place. It, oh, it doesn't. They don't do damage quickly enough. The Zerglings aren't going to be able to uh, get out of there safely, though, it appears. Um, let's mention that Nurgio has dropped a gas, which is different than what we saw at Bucharest when he played TLO. Both games went gasless until 36, dropped two gases, and went for actually plus one, plus one Glial reconstitution timings in both games. They worked pretty well against TLO. Here it looks like he's going to be mixing it up a little bit, going for something entirely different. Well, we see a spine crawler coming out of TLO, but no defensive bailing nest quite yet. Nurchios is already on the way, and it's hidden back behind his natural, or I'm sorry, his main, rather than putting it out in front of his natural. So we'll see if he plans to do some sort of a huge baneling uh, bust here in a second, trying to kill his opponent early. He is making 10 lings right now. Yeah. TLO trying to be a little bit sneaky and bypass things by just putting down double evolution chambers, and uh, he did have a spine. Minecrawler, I thought, uh -oh. but... Uh-oh. He oh canceled boy. that. Yeah, because it was coming up right here, wasn't it? Yeah, so this is uh, this is definitely dangerous for TLO right now, without a doubt. Um, let's actually mention that the current meta right now has you building Baneling Nests at the front if you intend to be defensive. Often, yeah. if you didn't intend to be aggressive, you hide it in the back. So here it comes out of Nurchio, ladies and gentlemen. He's got three Banelings in position, 12 Speedlings as well. TLO, he's got nothing except these Queens. Triple evolution chambers up at the front for him. TLO obviously always known for kind of being a little bit craftier, but these Banelings have been able to just run directly. Uh, well, they actually go into the hatchery. They take out all the larvae, yes, but not the damage I think that Nurchio wanted to do. Maybe a little bit of a miscontrol. Nurchio does take out one queen, however, and is forcing a lot of workers off the line, killing two of those in the process. Yeah, I mean, Nurchio is really showing his, uh, his his competency here versus TLO and just oh, yeah. how good he is in, in, in all of his matchups just as a player. Um, because he's, he's dismantling TLO at this stage. We're only seven minutes into the game, and 
TLO's like, well, I need to deal with these Zerglings that are still in his main right now, Kevin. I mean, he's making roaches, but they're nowhere to be found yet. And uh, queens are pretty good at uh, disrupting these Zerglings. But how many workers have gone down? Five already. And it looks like he may be able to get a couple more. No uh. nice defense from TLO so far, but the damage has still been done. Yeah. Uh, this has given Urchio the ability to safely tech to layer, even with the presence of the Roach Warren on I the mean, plate. Uh, I am just so impressed with Nurtio right now. I mean, uh, it's, you know, really getting it to TLO's psyche here. It's it's really impressive. Uh, got a lot of damage done there, guys. Kept TLO from doing the things, like, he wanted to layer tech during that. He's had all this gas. He didn't get to use it. His plus one's almost complete. Nurtio just keeping TLO completely distracted from actually playing StarCraft. It was more playing capture the Zergling. <laughs> Basically. I mean, TLO's uh, only advantages are that uh, his Rotorum was done a little bit quicker. He's uh, he's going to have plus one well before his opponent does, and he should be able to get plus two and have an opportunity there. But Nurchio, look at this, guys. I mean, he's he's up a base at the moment. He's got the same production. He's got better production than his opponent, actually. Queens are still all intact. All of his workers are still in play. So, I mean, uh, Nurchio really bought himself oh. all the time that he needed. Uh, so the lair's done. I mean, this... <laughs> It looks like Nurtio actually could be going for the same thing here. He's started his plus one, plus one. He went for the fast lair, and there's the Gleal Reconstitution. We, I mean, he, and it's, it's evident, you know, he really does favor going for uh, extremely cost-efficient units and just splitting them well so that he doesn't have to worry about, okay, I don't have Infestors, but I'm never going to let them catch me in a big ball, so it doesn't really matter. Well, this uh, TLO is able to move out and actually start taking this base, and you're right. I mean, he, he doesn't want to get caught with just a gigantic engagement, and Nurtio is quite good and moving out positioning and striking with smaller groups of units too. Um, he's going to be moving up to a total of six gas here as uh, his third base does finish up. But, I mean, other than that, Nurtio's just biding his time, freeing up all of his available supply, making sure his upgrades are in check. And uh, there's the infestation pit, so we'll have a use for that gas here as we move on. I, I really do feel right now like I'm watching like a game three at Bucharest because uh, TLO every game was also going for the exact same thing here. He'd get one upgrade and he'd go for fast and festers. The difference here is he's getting carapace, which is actually really interesting. And we see, okay, he actually is starting up his next missile attack. So um, because, uh, of course, you know, if you're going to go for a lot of infestors, you want to make sure you get your missile attack upgrade. Yeah. So, all right, looks like he's actually just going to be investing into as well. Okay, but uh, the infestation pit's going to be done a lot faster for Nurtio. He's going to have those as a threat here pretty quickly. Yes, TLO's taking another base, but Nurtio has enough gas now saved up for many infestors. Even with pathog mm -hmm. Pathogen Glance all the way, by the time this hits the 30-second mark and he can start making them, he'll be able to put up four infestors with his first round, and that's that's no small feat. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious what he's going to Is he going to go for the 2-2 two -two or is he going to go for the uh, we see he starts plus two missile? Because it's definitely going to be a testament to how Nurtio decides to play here. If he starts both of his upgrades, I mean, you know, he's feeling very comfortable. He's like, all right, I'm just going to play a slow-paced game right now. TLO's coming down with a number of roaches, though, guys. Now, he's not reinforcing this. He's droning behind it, but we'll see what kind of damage he can get done here. Going to try to split up the roaches. Of course, that has proven to be really effective in CVZ lately. A couple six going to get into the main. They're going to see what kind of damage they can get done, but Nurtio's in hot pursuit. Targets down a queen. Nice move there for TLO. Simultaneously, a little engagement going on on the left. TLO going to be forced to retreat, losing a couple of roaches over there. Yeah, I mean, he lost the queen, but Nurtio's shutting this down. I mean, he's shutting this down pretty hard. He traded yeah, really cost-effectively there, and believe it or not, that was about the best moment that TLO had available to him. He had killed enough overlords that his opponent was supply blocked, and Nurtio was actually putting up four supply deep, or I'm sorry, four overlords at the same time. And all that time, he wasn't able to make infestors. His first two infestors are actually being made just right now. He had Pathogen Glands more than ready to start pumping those out. So TLO actually moved in at basically the most advantageous time for him, but Nurtio, it's a testament to how much damage he did before, was still able to just continue to reinforce and press his advantage. All right, well, 1-1 one, one Roach is engaging against each other right now. Nurtio with a huge reinforcement wave does allow the attack to continue. We can see the Roach counts for both players are fairly similar. If we can find out, well, there's a lot of reinforcements still arriving for Nurtio right now. Nine Roaches remaining for a Red Zerg player who's now going to have to retreat as TLO appears to have had more. Yeah, I mean, TLO has a little bit shorter reinforcement path, so everything gets up for him a little bit quicker. Now, three Infestors are out, and they may start trudging their way across the map. That's going to be pretty critical in this engagement, too. Change is actually being dropped down just to uh, spectate the fight, I imagine. <laughs> Nurcio is uh, slowly whittling these units down. He's not trading the most cost efficiently right here, but it doesn't really matter to him because all he's forcing TLO to do is make nothing but roaches. Yeah. We haven't seen any sort of infestor play. Pathogen Glance isn't even research. TLO is uh, way 
way down on workers. So every time he produces another round of units, he's not just making less roaches than his opponent, he's also not reinforcing with infestors. And that's going to allow Nurtio to keep stretching his lead a little bit more, a little bit more each time. And in fact, that's just going to be a GG. Sees the infestors, and that's a game. All right. Well, that's going to do it for game one. TLO taking a little bit too much damage from the Zerglings, I think. Yeah, I agree. Set them real far behind. But, uh, of course, this is a best of five, folks. So we've got a lot more content here between these two players. We'll see if TLO can take the next game off and even up the series. Yeah, the game is going to be on Cloud Kingdom. So we're going to run away commercial break. And when we get back, it'll be time for game number two out of our EU Gome World Championship qualifiers. Don't go anywhere.